to give you a sense of what freedom means to me, I'll tell you about New Year's Eve or Hogmanay in the Edinburgh of my youth. Edinburgh's Hogmanay, the official brand, has been going since the mid-1990s. But for the people of Edinburgh, there's a tradition that predates these official events by more than 100 years. For decades, people turned up before midnight on New Year's Eve at the Tron Kirk in the Old Town to catch the bells ringing 12 in its clock tower. When I was young, the Tron was the place to be at New Year. But then, in the early 90s, Edinburgh Council moved in to organise New Year. It relocated it to the new town, put on shows and events, organised fireworks, and embarked on an international marketing campaign. It worked. In 1993, 300,000 people turned up. Too many to be handled. The slightest ripple in one part of the crowd would end up magnified as a crush in another. People got hurt. So that was it. From then on, the council put a fence round the centre of town at New Year. They sold a restricted number of tickets and manned the barriers with private event security. Now, there's nothing really wrong with a corporate event, with a paid festival, but something was lost. Suddenly, it wasn't our party anymore. It wasn't our city anymore. I asked my friends if they had any photos of our times at the Tron Kirk. They just laughed. You didn't take a camera to the Tron, nor did you take your granny or children. They were safe at home watching Valdi McGinn with granny and your parents were around at someone else's house party. The Tron was for use. The packed crowd ebbs and lurches around the Tron. We are young, leery and drunk. Our legs rush to steady ourselves against sudden eddies, slipping on cobbles, kicking crushed cans and spinning bottles. Someone falls. A cord and bubble of revelers pops into existence. The follower is pulled up by many hands. The bubble vanishes. Me and my friends grasp shoulders to form a knot which bobs around the throng like flotsam in rapids. The warm air of thousands of crammed revelers steams in the cold night air and mingles with the acrid tang of a smoke grenade. The clock hands creep towards midnight. From below the clock tower, the angle between the hands is almost imperceptible. We start to roar. We all start to roar in deep and sharp the first gong. The world explodes into showers of beer and gongs and distant fireworks. Our roars pour into shouts of Happy New Year. Elated, we snog, we kiss, we shake hands, we hug. First girlfriends, then friends, then everyone. As the crowd breaks up, I shake hands with a lost Japanese tourist, some nutter from the schemes, and a solitary pair of policemen, all equal before the bells. Then we march off singing and snogging to the first party. Raucous, chaotic public gatherings didn't require police, bouncers or regulations, they just happened. Unconstrained, boundless, anarchic youth reveling in its freedom and unity. I want my sons to have that. Where will they find it?